Aloha guys, how's it going? It's the Flying Hawaiian here. Back with some more Firewatch, that's right. We got Firewatch going. So I got some good news and I got some bad news. And it's, I hope it doesn't throw you all away from my channel. I'm not incompetent, I swear. I know what, I just, I just forget stuff. Um, so I figured out what was wrong with the screen last episode I did but the last episode I did which I just did I just finished it has no sound from the game it has no sound from the game so it has my commentary but no sound from the game and I was so mad because I could hear it I have some headphones on I can hear it they just it didn't pick up the sound so I thought the sound was good to go um fortunately it was not so there's no sound. I'll still post it because y'all can see dialogue from that. Y'all can read the dialogue and see it. Y'all don't have to watch it. I'm not really going to be that. I won't be upset at all if y'all don't watch it. I don't blame you. It doesn't have any sound. I made a mistake. But got it figured out. Got the sound playing. I tested it twice to make sure. I tested it once the other time and I swear I heard the sound. But. I guess not. Um, so we're going to go into here. Unfortunately, we lost all that gameplay. It, I mean, I didn't do much. So I'm going to give you what I did. During that gameplay, I went. I was in that tent. We were in the tent. We had just found the little beeping machine. Everything was awesome. We found that. And then I followed the beeping machine back to the desk right behind where we were. In that tent right behind it. Behind us. And underneath the pile of papers was a f folder that had all of our conversations. They were monitoring Henry and Delilah. They were monitoring them. And it had like some kind of tracker anklet thing that uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to show you. Um, and basically after that, uh, Delilah got pissed and started just yelling like let's burn this place to the ground da, 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 da. burn it to the ground that'll show them i chose the dialogue to not burn it to the ground i said no let's not do that that's a bad idea that's what they want that's what they want us to do so after that she was like yeah you're right good just go ahead and go back to the tower so it's night i'm like i just took off sprinting towards the tower as soon as I get up the hill, I get out the gate, and I turn to my right. There's a fire back down where I just came from, like a huge fire. So she calls. She's like, there's smoke over there. You didn't set the fire, did you? And stuff like that. Starts yelling at me, and I'm like, no, I didn't set it. I didn't set it. So basically someone's setting us up. So I get back to the, get back to the tower. Or I start running back towards the tower, but it... Um, it basically goes to the next day so it's the next day in the tower I set up a little thing and I might be able to show you this um, might not 100% but I'm gonna basically I can reload the start of the la of the current day that I'm on so I'm gonna try and I don't know how far back it'll go but basically went back to the tower and the beeper started beeping again so I went down and I found the bag with the cave key. You remember that cave from the very beginning? That cave. I now have the key to that. And that's where I'm headed. I'm headed to that cave. I'm sure I'll be able to show you. But while I was getting that, on my way back, she says, it's a good thing you're back in your tower. And I'm like, I'm not back in my tower yet. There's somebody in the tower. So I was like, oh, God. Start running up the stairs towards the tower. Get up there. No one's there. But there's something taped to the, to the door. And it's a tape player. And the tape player says on it, it, sh it has the conversation that of Delilah saying, We're, let's burn this place down. So now they have evidence on us saying, let's burn this place down and stuff like that. So we're going to go in here. We're going to reload the last day. So if y'all want more, that is pretty much what we did. So I'm at the cave, but we're going to reload the last. We're going to restart current day. Yes, any unsaved changes. I'm going to go back as far as I can. Um, but that was... Okay, so... 
Okay. What's, What's wrong? wrong? Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We'll Just stick together. To stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Okay. So. What? I just saw, like, wave receiver or something. Probably in that drawer or something. Okay, so... Um, here's the tracking device we picked up. They definitely were tracking something. So let's just throw that back down. That's what we picked up inside the tent. And I found a bunch of papers with our name and stuff on them that I think are right here. So let me see if I can go in on that. So here we go. Week 1, week 10. Guilt ridden, susceptible to influence, unsure of self, reliable. Excuse me. Um... Reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, screwed perception of personal history. So see, we got all this stuff. Susceptible to manipulation is 9 and 3. So provide a sign off. EG. EG. Let's just see what we got over here. EG. No, not Ron, not Dave. EG. Not Brian Goodwin. Who knows? Who knows who it could be? But... Um, last time, so this is just after we had just found the tape recorder on the door, came inside, and, um, the next day happened, and he's sitting here against the window listening to the tape recording, and then she calls and says that somebody just, somebody called as me and just reported that the fire, and look at this fire, this crazy, this fire's crazy, so... Let's go, and let's let's see what's going on. Let's see what's in the cave, see what this is about. Um, like I was saying on the last video, um, as I was running to the cave, so... Um, just like, what do y'all think is happening? Because we are nearing the end of the game. It's not a very long game. Um... Like, stuff is just happening so quick, and I just want to hear anybody's opinion out there. Don't spoil it or anything for anybody, but just, like, what do you think is, like, who do you think is doing this? Is it a guy from, like, way back at the beginning? And don't give any spoilers, and, I mean, if you want to comment, like, after I'm done playing the game and after we found out, then go ahead I give your uh, breakdown of the game and how you saw it for sure, but just uh, let me know what y'all think is going on. Um, yeah, and y'all don't have to watch the last one at all. I gave you a pretty you, good uh, synopsis of you it. So. Actually, make that call, right? To to be able to look out. It just stuck in my craw. I I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. Now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course not. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. All right, so now we're back at the cave. I have the key. We're going to go cave exploring, and we're going to figure out what's up. Yeah, forceful. Alright, unlock gate. Man, if there are bodies in here, I'm totally screwed. Whoa. What the hell? Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. 
Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please. I can't get any damn reception. Crap, so here we go. I knew it, something was gonna happen. Jesus, this is a big cave. Long steep drop. Let's go over here first. Loose rocks. Let's use it. Squeeze through. Also, guys, they make a comment about it being about lichens. If this game is about lichens, <laughs> I swear, <laughs> that would just be really weird. It's freezing in here. Try calling now. Ah, oh, he won't call. Okay, let's get up here. Whoa. All right, drop down. Drop down? There. There. Okay. Man, this is creepy. This isn't creepy at all. Okay. Long drop down. Where are we? Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No. Uh, there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Man, where am I? I'm like up here. Let's pull out our map and see where we came out. Whoa. There's the little thing. Oh, this doubles as a compass. Nice. Okay, where are we? Oh, we popped out over here, huh? Okay. Alright. Oh, man, we found something. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Oh, yeah. Talk, t talking meteors. Avoid second person. It's too conversational for science. Off of what? Is it real? Is it science? So he's correcting it. He's correcting it. Are these your own words, Brian? Are these your own words, Brian? That, that. Comma. It's got a bunch of grammatical errors. Brian Goodwin, Hamilton Science Fair. Rough draft. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? Wait, are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. <laughs> it's to retrieve the backpack. That's funny. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Let's see what's going on. He liked to draw the Dracula Lords. 
dead. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. Yeah, it is. Jeez. A bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Golly, if they did something to a kid. Nope, don't want the painter. Old paint can. Okay. Bundle of pistons. Explore deeper into the cave. All right. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf, armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. Gosh, Brian. Everything he loved out there. Hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Platte Nebraska, 691001. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You're probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger Brian. The reward will be good. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Ham radio plan for Brian and Ned Goodwin. Not conventional, past maximum voltage, too high. Hmm. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. <laughs> yeah, he did. 
Dear Mr. Zachler, I'm with Dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fished in the spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend, Brian Goodwin. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Old paint can. I think we've got, I think we've explored this. Oh wait, what's this old pillow? He made the place pretty comfy too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. Okay. All right, so there's Brian Goodwin's little thing right there. Oh, can't go that way. What is this? Can I not go down there? something in there I don't know what do you think I'm probably going to get killed uh, I, I don't know really I mean, we got to find out what do you think whatever it is they don't want you telling anyone about I mean, they closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a are you serious with this shit right now uh, a hatchet God, are you sure you want to go back in there We gotta know what's yeah, going on. Especially now that I'm thinking about all the fun ways to be killed. I'm sorry. Look, at least whoever locked you in doesn't know you've gotten out. Hopefully you find whatever they're hiding in there and it'll be worth the risk. The beeper just started going off, guys. Got a dead elk out here. It's torn up something good. You think it got wise to a government program? Shut up. Huh. This elk is wearing a tracking collar. The wave receiver picked it up. Is that right? Yeah, it's numbered. Makes sense. Maybe they were tracking elk at that site. Maybe they were doing exactly what they said they were. Delilah. Yeah. There was lots of equipment there. I mean, they, they could have been up to a lot, you know? Yeah, sure. They could be. All right, so back. Over this way. No. Okay, we still had our flashlight on. Um, the cave is that way, so I need to go to Five point four miles this way. Wait, what? Five 
What? Oh. Hop over. Dirt to dirt. Okay. Let's just check our map. Whoa, wait. We are going the wrong way. We need to go behind us. All right, I don't know how f much time I have um, on this episode. Um, let me go all the way back. So here's where we are. We need to go back this way. Back down here. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Man, what is going on? See if there's anything else. All right. Well, guys, we're at the cave again. I think that's going to be a good place to end the episode. Why does it look darker in this cave? Okay, so I still got the key. All right, guys, I'm back up into this corner. Make sure no one's behind me. All right. Guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button. It's so awesome. We're we're nearing the end of this game, and it's getting crazy, and it's getting exciting. We're going to figure out what's going on. We just learned that those girls, they didn't die. I was thinking they were dead the entire time. Oh, man, mind blown. But that's okay. We're going to figure out what's going on with the rest, why we're being monitored. Who knows what's going on. Um, yeah, if you want to see more of this, if you want to see more, definitely, mm, excuse me, gosh, um, if you want to see more, definitely hit that subscribe button, and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see y'all next time on Firewatch. Woo. See ya.